we're getting a lot more splashes. It would take a lot of energy for me to get going this fast with paddles, especially with these uh, plastic inflatable kayaks. But with the thruster, it's just like, we're making trees. We're making trees on where we're going and I can actually... Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a quick intro here and say, it's fun out in the water. This is uh, my second time out with this kayak and the first time with lithium ion. So having a lot of fun out here and I hope you enjoyed the video. So something really neat about this thruster is like I've got it um, set to like I can go full speed forward You can see I pick up really fast, but then I can also just like flip all the way into reverse And hear it aerating the bubbles for a second and then we're going very fast in reverse And of course we have no direction with it in reverse because the thruster is in the back of the kayak. But in forward we've got a very stable speed. And then once we go into the waves, we're getting a lot more splashes. It would take a lot of energy for me to get going this fast with paddles. I wanted to do a quick overview of the electronics before I put everything away in my car, but here it is. As you can see, it's a 4S 8P pack. If you look at the end, you can see. This is the first one I ever built though, so quality, quality control is better. It works perfect. The quality is better now. I just wanted to give you a chance to see the electronics. As you can see, there's just four AA's powering this receiver, and this is off of a Tetrix, so that's why there's some other electronics on there, DC motor controller and stuff. But this is the, the big motor controller that Blue Robotics provides for their T500. And that's powered off of this. This battery is, has a 60 amp um, battery management system and a 50 amp fuse. These have changed now. The ones that I'm building for ROVs are a little bit more beefy, but I'm hoping to use new, newer cells. These are used, work perfectly, but they're used. Um, XT90 plug, that's changing in future too. But just for starting out, this is what I've built and what works for now. Um, the first time I went out, and I'll include a short video of that, I was using an uh, older AGM pack that just did not like the high amperage draw. This thing handled it like a champ. Then underneath you can see 
the T500. It did a really great job. I kind of scratched up the bottom on just like the ground, but it it's built out of, uh, uh, what is it? It's built out of uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon, I believe, or um, PTG. So it, it's very strong. Um, some surface scratches won't do anything to it. Anyway, that's how it went. I'm gonna load it up in the car and get back home and then have fun editing this because I love video editing.